This is Meta, and this is the stream where I talk about everything besides the drawing itself. Tonight we are going to be taking a look at uh, making bewitching zigs, because, I mean, it's, uh, you know, the holiday spirit, after all. It's, uh, it's Halloween, guys. Well, Halloween, just like uh, two weeks away. Yippee! Yeah. I mean, I'm also, like, we're continuing with the league art, because, I mean, heaven's no <laughs> heaven knows that I'm not already swamped with uh, Skintober, but it it's going to be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah. Uh. Oh, wait, I'm the fucking... I can't believe that Valorant Town's gonna end soon. I'm, I'm sort of sad about that, you know? I just want more of my, my baby boy, my baby girl. He deserves the world. Twitch.tv Oh, I also got a Blue Sky account. I've got a lot of accounts, but I don't really use a lot of them. It's a thing I should work on, you know? Cafe Cuties, it's uh, Lulu, but I'm having a little bit of trouble. But it'll work out in the end. You know, you gotta just uh, trust the process or something like that, you know? I need to watch Saw X. I really fucking do. It's a, it's not what, not a want, but a need. But you know, uh, I don't know. It, it's, it's a lot, you know. Uh, I don't even really remember much of what I was gonna talk about. It feels like the week just sort of <laughs> doubled me over. <laughs> All I can do is just sort of chill out. I mean, I guess this will be a good chill stream for those who just want to see, like, art and concepting or whatever. I've been trying to think of how to do bewitching zigs for a little bit now. I'm like, do I want to go in a pumpkin prince moomoo fashion, or do I want to go along with the other bewitching skins? And I think that, I mean, I'm going to try and settle for a middle ground. The main thing is that I don't want Zix to look like uh, Vagar. That's the main thing. So we're starting out with like a canvas like this. But like what I mean by, I usually draw Vagar with a very jack-o'-lantern styled face or whatever. So basically we want to keep zigzags 
and how you do that is by giving him his stupid fucking smile. But, you know, you have to... It's difficult to really... Like, there's so many ways to make a Halloween Grand Four zigs, you know? You could go with the whole stitches thing, you could go with the whole carved pumpkin look. That could be fun. Right? Um, or you could go with the eerily straight teeth, because that is fucking scary as shit, man. You could go with the full teeth grin, too. Or a grin that's really fangy, you know. Go for the van like a vampire style look. And there's a lot of ways that you can like stylize a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern smile too. Uh, what's it called? You can... Is my fucking thing dead? But yeah, you can do some of that too. <sighs> but yeah, like putting uh, zigs in a witch hat is hard because. I mean, like, putting any yordle on a witch hat that doesn't have hair is a little hard because you don't want to end up with a Vagar silhouette, you know? Because at the end of the day, that's how you can tell Vagar's Vagar. But I'm going to give Ziggs his stupid little goatee because he has one. That's, like, a main part of his characters, like, the little... The goatee that he has. If he was human, it would be like that, yeah? Uh, like, it's sort of like vibes. Really, when you draw zigs, even with your fucking fingers, in this case, where it's just uh, the worst sketch known to mankind, uh, you want to make him sort of a fucked up Teemo. That's kind of what you're going for here. So... Sort of like a teddy bear that's been loved too much. Because Timo is a, like a teddy bear that's all nice and pristine. But with uh, Ziggs, you want to keep the teddy bear shape. But, you know, it's got some edge to it. It's like... One thing about, like, that one Ziggs game, what's it called, Hextech Mayhem, is that I don't, like, I mean, it makes sense to give the characters really cartoony proportions, because it's a cartoony kind of game, but, you know, he's just so skinny. Like, he's just, he's just, like, the, it's so, it's so bobbleheady, you know? I know. <laughs> More like hex <laughs> gay ham. Let's go. So true, boys. <laughs> Fucking roasted the shit out of him. Another difficulty when it comes to, like, specifically Ziggs is that he is a character that runs and uses his legs a lot. And that... And that might not sound like a like a problem or something like that, but when it comes to uh, specifically making a bewitching skin for him, you kind of want to have a like a witch kind of dress, you know. Even warlocks have dresses, you see. So it's just sort of a ah uh, fuck, what do I do, you know? But like, the main thing is big head, two bombs in hand, one big bomb at the back. That's how you make a zig skin. Yeah, give him massive thighs and thigh highs from the running. Go, like, gotta 
<laughs> We're almost done with the drawing already. Let's go, boys. <laughs> fucking the be <laughs> the fucking <laughs> they need to be <laughs> watermelon crushers. <laughs> I mean, like, at the end of the day, like, yordles tend to look a lot better with weight on them. And that's just a, like, that's just a, a fact. Because of how big their fucking heads are. So, having their body, you know, be big or whatever, or have a bit of heft to it, just balances it out. It feels like the creature could be real in a sense, you know. But also, like, a lot of cutesy characters have that, you know? A lot of people mistake Ziggs for being insane. But that's not really the case. Well, at least with his more modern characterization he's more someone that like a young adult that's grown dissatisfied with the way that his life has turned out and explosions and that kind of thing are an art form to him he's it's like one of the <laughs> yordles that is like the most <laughs> against killing <laughs> it's very funny like to consider that Ziggs is the one that's like, I, d I don't think that we should kill people. I don't think that's a, a good idea. I don't, that like seems like wrong. It gives him a moral through line with uh, like Heimerdinger and that kind of thing. It's a very interesting way of looking at it, you know? He's an artist. St 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 He's not a, I mean, he is a mechanic or whatever. He's not a teacher. He's not a mechanic. He's someone that uses his inventions to, you know, have fun. And bring color and life to those around him. That's what he's about. Old Ziggs were like those shitty 2010 memes like, hmm, I tried this coffee, oh my god, I'm crazy now. Yeah. I mean, like, old Ziggs and Lulu characterizations are very, very 2000s y in terms of humor and what they were trying to accomplish or whatever. So, like, I, I like, Lulu has a really hard time with escaping that kind of, like, Lulz or random humor. Like, Ziggs has gotten way more fleshed out because of his presence it's in Piltover and Zon and that kind of thing. But yeah, Lulu, like, still struggles in terms of that, you know? Hex girls, we're gonna put a spell on you. Gonna put a spell on you. Let's see. What do you think uh, your Halloween costume is gonna be if you're gonna make one or if. What you want your Halloween costume to be? Because, I mean, like, I've got one that's, in, like, I've got set in mind, you know? Can I? All right. Finally, I can draw fine, fine line drawing. Oh my god, that's crazy. Oh, it kind of reminds me of how a lot of how dwarves in The Witcher Three are incredibly well versed in explosives. It's like how you hire a dwarf who used the best tech. Explosions technician on the continent, but was heavily depressed and about to suicide bomb their village because their wife cheated on them. But you talk them down and get them. 
threatened to blow off a door of a bank vault. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, Yordles are, like, a mix of a lot of fantasy races. I mean, they're, like, there are a lot of things. They're mixes of fairies and halflings and goblins. It's really anything that's magical and small they take inspiration from. And that's why, I, like, there's a problem in the community of people viewing a lot of yordles as children, even though they're just small and or immature, when, like, they're more likened to halflings, dwarves, and goblins. It's just really short races that live way longer than humans do. That kind of thing. Oh, and your friend Zoltan helps you set up a massive explosive trap versus the wild hunt in a siege, too. Nice. Oh, also, speaking of the wild hunt, they are... I really love their concept. And I really think that... Like, there should be a skin line dedicated to them. I mean, they're just, like, fun. I mean, come on. Uh, this other eye is driving me up the fucking wall. I'm gonna kill- I'm gonna kill Ziggs and his weird face- his weird face shape. Nah. I like the- I like the really weird grin kind of thing. Oh yeah, halflings are really well designed and represented in that universe too. Yeah, like... I guess it's just a curse of small races to be considered similar to children based on their build or whatever. Because the reason why dwarves aren't considered that way is because of their status as bearded and beer drinking. Uh, for uh, Halloween, if I w were wearing one, would be Justice Belmont from Harmony of Dissonance. Let's go, boys. What is going on? Okay. I'm kind of going for like the Sonic Adventure ghosts look. Also with his eyes. Uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> that or maybe I could pull off Swain. I think you could pull off Swain. I mean, Swain's outfit's really pretty. Just give them goggles and avoid eyes. No, I have to do this. I have to fucking do this, bro. Because it's... Zig's eyes is a thing that's kind of fucking awful. But... If I do that, it'll make him look more like Vagar. And, you know, we're just trying to stop that association, essentially. Also, it's just kind of hard.
There, finally. Ooh, actually just draw an Among Us crewmate and then erase some of the details to make eyes. a oh, perfect idea. Oh, I love this fucking track, bro. It goes hard. I mean, we st we do have a witch zig al zigs already. I'm surprised that they didn't make Arcanist... Master Arcanist Ziggs have potion bottles. I feel like that's such a like an obvious thing. Like, come on, like it's right there. Just make, just make the like little bombs into little potion bottles. It's not that hard. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Oh me, I I'm gonna. Uh, let's see. Oh, we are getting a new psychic detective skin, and it's not horrible like how Thresh and, I mean, like Nasus isn't bad, but Thresh was awful. I hated Thresh so goddamn much. Anyway, Echo is getting one, and he's so fucking cute. I can't believe it. Very adorable. Would. I would draw him, but, like, it's also kind of hard to draw Echo. Uh, I, I can only try so hard, guys. Let's see. I can put some masks on his belt or whatever to make it look better. If, uh... But this is called not drawing the fucking legs because you don't have to... But I'm surprised that Ziggs has never gotten a Halloween skin, you know? Like, that feels wrong, you know? But... I don't think that, I don't think that Timo's gotten one either. I don't remember ever a Halloween release Timo skin. I don't, um, uh, like, technically Heimerdinger's got mad scientists that technically counts. Yeah, I guess mad scientist Ziggs is one, I guess. No, no. Yeah. How how would a yordle make an L? I guess. Like this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Singed fur, that kind of thing. I mean, like, you just kind of want to make... You want to have fun with this. Count, count Click is a really fucking good skin. Honestly, Kled should get more skins. I don't know why he doesn't... Like, I don't even think that... That's all that. Loose question, but would you be open for commissions after Skintober stuff? Me perhaps send an idea of Lies of P inspiration, because I think the character would fit your art. Oh yeah, I love Scarlet on that skin. Yeah. I love Scarlet most of the time. And for, and yes, after Skintober, I will definitely be doing commissions, because nine dollars an hour is i mean i i don't think it's legal but it's what i'm making uh <laughs> and also i think that like i'm just happy that you're like really enjoying that game you know i see your tweets about it sometimes and i'm like liza p sounds cool i mean like i've seen gameplay of it it reminds me of like dark souls and sekiro and, like, this one other game, I can't remember, it's about the whole things. Is it 9 plus tips, though? No, it's not, I don't get tips. <laughs> I don't even think they're, I'm not really even sure if they're doing taxes on that either. Oh. Uh, I'll know once tax season's it's, uh, coming up. <laughs> I love <laughs> pog unpaid labor. My neck fucking hurts, bro. But yeah, I'm uh, we're pogging. We're I love. I love being paid fairly. It's very fun. Uh, but, you know, what can you do when you're living on Skid Row? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Psychic Detective Echo. Uh, why the fuck did I write coronation in here? Uh, I'm watching more Saw stuff because I, I really want to. Uh, I've been looking at permit tests. Uh, I've been listening to Thriller on non-stop repeat, but I can't put that. I'd like to play Thriller, but I can't because of the copyright. So, I'm sorry for the non-Halloween-ness of the stream. Uh, I mean, Halloween's just so, like my fucking favorite. Favorite character in that game has been Lorenzi Vingini and their public Puppet Butler Pul Pul Chin El Pul Chin El I'm Brother I am in severe brain rot territory. Sorry. Anyway, thriller thrill of the night. No men in coven, but yes, men in bewitching because I 
but because I can. <laughs> I love the line, there ain't no second chance with a thing with 40 eyes, girl. <laughs> that shit goes hard. I love Vinici because they always say their name and it's funny, like, Ven me Ni <laughs> Veni in their Italian accent. <laughs> Brother, I am truly rotted my brain out. I didn't even do anything today. That's how fucking rotted I am. Anyway. I mean I did do things. So I completed uh Old God Kindred, and I was s hopping between Space Groove Senna and all the others. Actually, their name is basically just Panini. <laughs> Hell yeah. I want to do some Valorant Town. Sorry, Valorant Town drawings but like I'm already doing so much league I'm feeling there's so there's so many leagues here I think that for next stream I'm gonna do like one of these point and click adventure games or something like that I'm gonna try and if not I'll just play haunt the house and it'll be a disaster like always but, you know, it'll be great. Because you'll be able to see me fuck around and find out in real time. Uh, like I always do. I'm feeling line arty today da -da -da. I don't know what it is something in the water my fucking neck bro ow maybe I'll finish a fan fiction that's stupid I'm not gonna do that <laughs> Part of the... What the fuck did I write? Huh? <sighs> Let's see. Apparently there's gonna be a new boy band skin line that I'll be releasing or something like that. But I, I have no fucking clue, man. <sighs> Worlds is coming up, I guess. So, they're making a skin line. I, I don't know. I, I think that Worlds is actually going on right now. But, uh, I'm fucking... Do I know? Do I actually know? No, I don't. I love these sports as much as the next guy, but I'm just not really all that interested unless it's like yo oh my fucking god this is like I care about like um melee uh and like all those weird success stories with like really unpopular characters I mean smash tournaments are always like really strange to me I don't know there's something weirdly magical about them but it's also the video essays people make on them Maybe if someone made, like, a video essay about, like, the time that, like, Heimerdinger, like, taught the charts, I'd fucking go bananas on that, yeah? I'm listening to someone, like, construct the worst game of Uno known to mankind, and it is great. Highly recommend. Uh, let's see. What else have, has been in my mind? Because I'm fucking- I'm drawing a fucking blank. 
I mean, I've been watching a lot of Drag Race. I mean, I used to watch it quite a bit, but I just fell off. And, like, there's been, like, 500 more seasons. Uh... A gritty, huh? <laughs> uh. Oh yes, Amsa. Yes, I've watched the video of Amsa and uh, their journey to be come top two in the world on Yoshi. That shit goes hard. Like they single-handedly pulled <laughs> Yoshi out of low tier. Like that's incredible. I also just like watching, like, Game & Watch stuff, like, I know he's, like, dog shit in Melee, but, but, like, in other games, he's real good. But, like, he's the most broken character in Melee, in, like, the worst way. <laughs> mm -mm. Valorant Town. TF2. Oh yeah, I got a lot of things from TF2, thanks to Morrow, because he was trying to uh, rid himself of his inventory once again, so that's very sweet of him. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Little Shop of Horrors, because I'm really... I'm I'm just that kind of girl. <laughs> yeah, like literally they don't need to like yeah, like literally they don't work and need to be fixed. <laughs> yeah, I mean like they're the lightest character by far. Their shield does not fucking work. <laughs> like and there's so many ways to punish them. It's insane. <laughs> Like, my my brother in Christ, Game & Watch, needs some goddamn work. I fucking love 2D characters in a 3D space. Those are some of my favorites of all time, you know? It's kind of hard to really make a 2D character when characters are already, you know, in 2D. But, like... You know, people make it work, and it's really, really pretty to see. I, like, it's it's a talent, you know. I mean, shouts out to Prismo from Adventure Time. Uh, people are simping for him now. I mean, he should have been simped over a long time ago, but that's a different conversation. <sighs> <laughs> Um, I'm going stupid, I'm going crazy, I'm hot taking, I don't know. Um, let's see. I watched Saw 1 the other day, again, and it's still fucking good. I love you, Adam Stanheit. Uh, you're still alive to me in my heart. Even though you're probably not in actual canon, but fuck you, I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> I think that Zig's having a whiter nose is a, a good little treat for him to have. Like, the main thing is, I don't want their faces to look samey, you know? Even if they're, you know, fuzzy creatures with different colored fur and stuff like that, you know? Like, their builds, their body types. It's, it's, they should feel unique from one another. But still look good. And that's a little bit hard to pull off, especially for, like, skinnier, scrawnier yordles. It's because they have, like, less to work with, obviously. But, like, I feel like with, like, Lulu and... 
uh, my design of rumble, I feel like I've gotten a better handle on them. Ow. I can't believe that manatees used to be like mistaken by sailors for like what are they? Mermaids. <laughs> wow, she's so cute. I hope she bubbles up to the surface. Fuck. Those guys look like coconuts floating in the water. They're so, they're so, they're, I really, like, they must have been on, like, some crazy, like, pirate crack, I don't know, to, like, mistake those two things. But, you know, once you've, like, not seen, like, a, a woman in a while, I guess things just start to look like other things. I don't know. <laughs> But I do need to get on that pirate crack. I mean, someone can sell that to me uh, out back but after the stream. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Six has like thicker fingers. Like he should have a more like rough handed appearance. Reminds me of one of the that lobster fisherman videos. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Like are you, like because all I can think about is the fucking blue lobster from those memes where it just makes the fucking, like, the, like, bass-boosted Dracula castle theme play. I was gonna, like... Have him show off his chest a bit, you know, show off the them goods. They had a mugfish with a big mouth and he was like, and no, I will not hear you out. Oh, so, oh that's so fucking good, bro. I will not be hearing anybody out today. Part of me wishes to go back to that time where I was like in high school and I thought that my friend having a crush on the other mother, like the monster version, not the like mother, other mother, um, like was the craziest thing that I'd ever heard <laughs> as like a hear me out situation. But like, you know. Looking back at it, yeah, Monster Other Mother could get it. She could get it hard. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's the lobster fisherman who teaches people about lobsters and 
and about random stuff in their traps. And they always give the lobsters a snack if they're being released. Aw. Like females and bigger lobsters. Oh, how cute. I know, like, of a lot of people that got into, like, the stone crab fisherman trade. I hope they're doing well. I hope the sea's not consumed them. It's crazy that <laughs> Mr. HP Lovecraft is afraid of, what are they called, um, air conditioning units? He was fucking terrified of that. Also, he's afraid of ultraviolet light. Like, someone told him once that, like, ultraviolet light existed, and he was like, You mean colors that we've never seen before exist? And had an aneurysm. And he wrote a book about it. <laughs> and that's how we got, like, colors from outer space or whatever the fuck it's called. It's about, like, how, like, a fucking well produces all these fucking strange-ass fucking colors. And, like, people that see them go crazy. Fucking inventing radiation in real time. Mr. Lovecraft was scared of everything, including minorities. I mean, mostly not minorities. Those, like, out of everything, including existential dread... And basic math and air conditioning units and ultraviolet light and people being gay. He was also really super racist. Like, r really fucking racist. Like, n not even the Irish were safe. Bro was just homophobic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he, he's the version of that where he's actually scared of gay people. <laughs> I don't know how, like, I guess, like, the thing is, he had, like, an aneurysm every time he stepped out of his fucking house. So he became a recluse and started just writing books. And his sugar mommy took care of most of the finances for them because he like, just combusted on the side of seeing someone that was of a different skin color or, like, if the air wasn't right or, like, any anything like that. He, he was fucking lunatic. Lunatic. And I'm glad he's dead. You know, but it's really funny. I like his aesthetic of horror, what he chose. Because he was genuinely afraid of the, like, things around him. And, like, that grimy, sea-tinged horror is, like, you know, kind of perfect in a lot of senses. Because, I mean, yeah, of course you would be terrified of the fucking sea. I mean, that shit's scary. <laughs> I mean, it just eats people up with no warning. And it's gross. And it smells like death. And like everything else. That kind of thing, yeah? It just sucks that he's, you know, that kind of person. It probably would have been invented sooner or later without him, you know? So, I mean... Just steal his things. Steal his work. Don't credit him. It's funny. He's dead. He doesn't know. <laughs> Can't pay royalties to him. That's why I am all in favor of transformative media. Let's see. A lot of successful writers were just kind of off, like, just 
recluses who couldn't deal with the outside world. It's really strange the like array of people that have gotten like really good at it, you know? But I guess that's just kind of a creative uh, process. You got a feel it or something. I don't know. If you really need to pick... Also, if you really need to piss really bad, just go to another gravesite. Exactly. I and mean, it's a... It's a walk. It's it's probably a, a long walk away for a lot of people, but if you're in... If you're in town, stop by, you know? Oh my god, I love that work. Especially that one where you were scared of the air conditioning. Like... <laughs> ah, stupid. It does remind me of the time that my friend's reactor started breaking and it was banging so loud that it sounded like a brick in the washing machine. Oh, so true. So true and based. <laughs> Sometimes I just write so true and like, like it, it's the vibes of so true that like shine in that response. You know, so true. <laughs> it's a metaism. Ah, uh, looking to copyright it? Nah, no, you can't do that. Anyway, I mean, like the scariest thing that's in your house isn't the air conditioner or radiator. It's the boiler. Those things have leveled entire complexes. Boilers are fucking scary. If, if he was writing about a, a, a <laughs> if he was writing about a boiler, I could understand because that's a fucking bomb, bro. It's basically that true Adachi image. Yeah, so true. So true. <laughs> you should get it. Very easily. Because I said it a bunch. And that means that you understand the vibes. No. It feels like a little bit of a stretch, you know. But, yeah. It's, it's like uh, the Green Goblin and his pumpkin bomb. Oops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Me be right back. All right. I think that I'm going to be done soon. I mean, there, I'm just... I wanted to stream. I really wanted to do this. It's just that, like... I don't really exactly know what to talk about. Which, I mean, like, it's fair. It doesn't have to be, like, entertainment every five seconds, but, you know. I want it to still be entertaining, I don't know.
There we are. I don't I'm just gonna do this and we're gonna call it essentially. Something like this. <laughs> no, come back here. This is... This is Adeline's battle theme. Little Shop of Horrors is probably also copyrighted, so you can't even do a fun thing or whatever. I draw my persona as my Halloween costume, but you know. Whenever it comes to drawing my Sona, I'm always like, yeah, I'm gonna do it, and then I never fucking do it. I'm doing, I'm basically doing my damnedest to start communicating better with people that I care about, all that stuff. It's going to be a daunting task, but I, I feel like I can do it, you know? I don't know why. It's, it, it's just hard. I don't know. Executive dysfunction. Stuff like that gets me down. I don't even know how to, like, really go for it, you know? But I'm gonna try. And that's all you can ask of someone is to try. And try their hardest, you know? I got Blue Sky, which is cool, uh, and I followed people there, but I don't know. The app needs a lot of uh, adjustments, in my opinion. It's kind of hard and weird to uh, access. It's like the browser itself is like weird and unpolished, but you know. Twitter keeps on making, like, the worst decisions known to mankind. It's, it's, like, truly baffling the amount of stuff that they keep on doing. It's like they want people to stop using their fucking platform. <laughs> they want to keep losing money. I don't know. Maybe that's the goal. I mean, 
you know, if that's the goal, they're doing a good job. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's anyone's, it's though. Maybe I'll do like a like a hard shading to this. So at some point that could be fun, right? I don't know. When I was young, they're just a bad old kid. <laughs> <laughs> the main thing is you don't want this t uh this is gonna be I don't know I don't know about this one I've made a bad decision <laughs> you know something in place for myself later I don't know something like this Dun, 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 I can't work. I'm at work, can't hear cute Zygmunt. Thank you. We're gonna be done in a few minutes. And I'll be, and we'll stop it, and it'll be fine. I don't know. I'll watch some of the VOD later. Godspeed. Godspeed, Morrow. Fucking sniper theme. Uh, this is so stupid. Be polite. Be professional. <laughs> That's not in any of his fucking voice lines. He's not professional at all. He's not fucking polite. <laughs> no politeness there. He j he's got. He stopped getting paid for that. <laughs> so he stopped. I don't know. This is Magnum Force, right? High quality Magnum Force, yeah. <laughs> As long as there's two people left on this planet, one of them's gonna want the other dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
seduce me. <laughs> that one's. I can't believe Mara would. Do, can't believe Mara would do that. I can't believe that Mara has to go to work. Uh, like that's crazy. It, like it's not like we also have jobs or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, this is fine. All right, I think that's good enough for right now. I don't, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to. I don't want to do anything anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry for being. I'm sorry for being a, a lazy meta. I don't know. To, we're gonna have a lot of technical difficulties next time. Okay, so you know. Give me, give me this. Give me a, give me a freebie. <laughs> uh, you give me freebies every time. I, I swear, it's like uh, I constantly get freebies. <laughs> There's so much, so, no such thing as lazy. Z, it is a construct of the ables. Thank you. You are a true working class hero, Golden. Sometimes you, like, I don't know. I, I, I want to do more. I really do, but, you know, there's only so much that I can do, um, at least while being mildly entertaining, I don't know. Because I love streaming and I love being with you guys or whatever, it's just, you know, sad. I don't know. Anyway, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time, I think. Uh, this is where I'll call it. I mean, we got to an hour. That's, that's pretty good. And we got a pretty good end product out of that, too. Uh, so I'll bid you guys a good day, a good night. A good evening. <laughs> a good rest of your evening, I mean. And a good rest of your week. Next Friday, I'm gonna try and stream a game. That'll be fun. And please tell me if the quality is crunchy as fuck. Because we kind of need to figure that out. We kind of need to figure that out. Because I, I stream on the lowest possible bitrate. That my computer can take. Alright. See you guys next time. See ya.